Okay, so hi guys. So this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, model a cube. Okay, so we start with the part. You can see that this is the model. Okay, the CA Baker CAE. So we will start with part and then follow by property and then assembly. And then we will have a steps. Okay, the analysis step. And then we will create the interactions for the support and the surface. And then we will have the pre-described loading pre described displacement as loading and then we will mesh it and then we will submit for the job and then we will have the visualizations okay so first we go to the part where we have to create a part we press it here create part okay so here you can see that you will once you have create part it will give you this create part one okay so i will name it as form concrete and then i want to create uh, 3D models and then deformable is for the uh, normal materials and then if you have the support means it's not going to fail then you can use discrete rigid okay and then for the shape this is the solid material so I will use solid if you have a shell means uh, the, the shell materials means the thickness being ignored then you can use shell and then wire is normally used for the reinforcement and then you have a point also so the type I will use extrusion so continue okay so here now you can see that this is the part where you're going to draw and then you can see that now we are at the module of part and then now we already changed to have these functions so all these functions you can use it to help you to draw okay so how can i start to draw because i want to draw a, a square okay the cube so i will start with draw a square i press on this and then i just simply draw a square okay so and then I don't need to set the dimension first because I can use this function add dimensions. Okay, when I press on add dimension from here to this point. So I want to change it to 150 because I'm using the millimeter. Okay, and also these points to this point, I want to change it to 150 millimeter. So if you cannot see the whole things, you can press on this. Okay, so you can see this whole materials and then select the entire dimensions and then i already done means i press on the escape button then it will escape this or either you will unclick it so done so sketch the section for the solid extraction have been done so i press done okay once you press the button of done it will give you this edit base extraction means how much you want to extract so because this is a cube material so the depth also is 150 then i press ok so my part is done okay so now in the model tree you can see that here you already have a part means form concrete okay step number two what you have to do is so now i will create the partitions so because why i want to create the partitions because later i want to sub, uh, put a reference point at the middle at the top okay and also the support i will have a reference point at the bottom so i will cut i will make a partition face first so i press on this Actually, this you when you press, you hold on it, it will show you many things. Okay, this is partition face sketch, and then you can use the uh, shortest path between two points to create. You can use datum plans. Okay, you can use curve path normal to two edges, and then you have extend another face, and then you have other things. So I will use only this. Okay, so I will press on this. Okay, and then uh, here you can see this. Why will you will not always need to read this? place because you will give you the instruction so you have to follow so select the face to partition so i want to partition this face so i will click done and then select an each edge or axis that appear vertical and on the right so this one i want to be at the vertical and on the right so you can see that okay so now we can start to sketch so i want to part have the partition at the middle so i will have the line so I'll put here to here and then I can press escape button and then you will escape this and I want to also from here to here okay so I want to partition like this okay you can use the view buttons here view manipulations then you can use this button to move your view you can have a view you can have a rotations you can have a full view and so on this one you can explore it yourself okay so if you accidentally you are not doing at the middle so actually you can also again you can use the add dimension function okay so you can check it if it's 75 
If it's not 75, you just simply key in 75, it will give you the answer. Right? And then from here to here, and then it's 75. Okay? So if it's not 75, you just press on it, then it will give you the answer. So I'll click escape. Then click done. Okay? So but then this is the overdefined all oh, because just now I already defined that one. So I will del delete it. And you can if you already do it, then you can undo it. Okay, you can see that if green then it's okay. Okay, if you want to create another line, you can create. So, this part is done. So, you can see that I already have the partition face. So, once you already have the partition face, now you can partition, cut through the whole cube. So, you can see that you can have this. You will have many functions also. This is define the cutting plan, use datum plan, extend face, and then partition cells, extrude or sweep each. So, I will use this. So, select one or more edge on the same plane. So, I want to select this. Okay, I will cut. I want to cut this. So, done. So, extrude along direction, yes. So, I want to extrude doing this way. And then this arrow, if it's going to wrong way, then you can flip it. And then you're going to this way. So, okay. So, create partitions. So, now you can see that I already have this partition. And then you can build it with... You can go through, you can see that it's like a cake being cut. So now your whole model is already being cut like this. Okay. So I want to also view, let me also view called views. Okay. I want to have this view function. You can go to the toolbars to open it. Okay. Sorry, let me organize this a little bit. Okay. So now I want to get back to the ISO view. I already cut this part. So now I want to cut here to here so again i want to cut this okay so select the cell to be partitioned so now already cut to become two cells so when you want to do the partitions for the cell you cannot select both cells because now it's already become two cells so done and then select one or more edge i want to cut at this edge done and then it should along direction yes so i want to cut this direction okay create partitions Okay, so you can see that it's already done, the partitions. So what I have to do now is I want to create partition for this part. Okay, you can rotate it according to your need. So I want to select this part, done, and then this edge, done, and then sweep along the, extra along the direction, yes, this direction, okay, flip condition. Okay, so... You can double check it with this. Okay. So means done. Okay. So after you complete your partitions, basically you already prepared the part needed. For this, it's just simple cube. If you have a reinforced concrete, then you need to draw the reinforcement. If you have a more composite unit, then you have to draw more parts. So now we go to the materials. Okay. Also, you can see here that you can go to the... From the model tree here, we can see at this part, I go to the material, double click. Okay, so now we can create the material. So material here, again, I want to name it as foam concrete. So if you have more than one part, then you need to create the names according to the need. Else, later you will get confused. So here you can key in the density. So for the density here, wait a minute, let me check. Okay, I will go to check this. Okay, here I have another example. Let me check the data. So, for this density will be 1.6e negative 009. For the, this I will just use the same data. Okay, control copy. This one you can find it in, a, in another video that I explained already in the introduction on the units. Okay, 1.6e009. There you need negative. Wait, let me check. Okay. So you can see that it's 1.6e negative 009. 1, 2000 and 0 0.2. Okay. So let me do the proper. This. So 1.6. 1.6e negative 009. 
Okay, so if accidentally you click that, you just have to just delete the row. And then you go to the elasticity, you get the elastic, and then this is 1,000, 12,000. Okay, here is 0 0.2. Okay, so we also need to have the concrete damage plasticity. So the concrete damage plasticity, you are going to key in. 27, 1, 1 1.12, 1 and 0. Okay, so here you create. Okay, you create this. So you go to the mechanical, the plastic properties, and then you can see that the plasticity, plasticity you have many types. So here I'm using the concrete image plasticity. That is 27. This is how much it is 1. This is 0. I cannot remember this value. Let's say this is 1. This is 1.12. Okay. Uh, Tabular data is this one. The motion is 0 value. Okay. So compression. So I'm going to use this data. Wait a minute. One of my has been sub zero. Okay. Yes. This is open. So I will open the concrete damage and then I will have the value of this. I will copy it. Okay, wait a minute, let me open the CDP data example easier. Okay, so for this, go back to our model. Okay, so for materials, one, so one, two, zero, zero, and then the mechanical, just now is error, sorry, and then because it want you to have one shot, key in the value, so this is 27, one, one point one two, one and zero, okay. And then here you need to have the value, so I will input from here. Okay, so you input the value of compressive string and also the inelastic string. So control B. Okay, and then the sub option, the concrete damage. I will also input the value damage parameter. So C. Okay, so here control B. Okay, and then okay, then we go to the tensile behavior. So you copy this. So you can pre prepare your data in the Excel so easier for you to copy paste. Okay, and then the sub option, the damage. So I will copy the data from here. Okay, for the damage, you don't put in until one. Because later we give you errors. This is from the experience that I used to do then. Okay. So now it's already complete. 